Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. I know you read the title already. So I bought, I bought, I bought a. Blah, 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 blah. I bought a bunch of makeup recently. You can see my happiness. I have bought so much makeup. I am so excited to try all of it. So yeah, there is drugstore, there's high end, there's everything. Like you know, my one of my friend went to UK. So you know, he bought a couple of things, and there's one more friend who was returning from UK. So you know, I, I I've like just ordered things to their places. So I have a lot of makeup in front of me. I'll try to use as much as I can and the, if not now like you know they'll be in other videos I'll post a review somewhere or the other so before starting let me be clear like before people give me any crap this is my money I have bought it with my money I'm not wasting anybody else's money I bought each and every product right now which I'll be using in the video with my money I have earned it so if you are that little bitch out there who's thinking extra in that brain just keep it to yourself so yeah uh i, I am so excited to try all the makeup so let's get into the video make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time i post so let's start off i have a whole face of makeup i guess i have everything but i don't have a primer so i'm going in with my uh, l'oreal base magic transforming smoothing primer i love this primer i use it under all foundations so i know this is going to be good no matter what i'm using so yeah the skin is prepped so i have two foundations and i'm so excited to try these two so i have the fendi beauty uh, pro filter hydrating foundation i have the old one it is a little too matte so i thought maybe this would work then i have the milani conceal conceal and perfect and i have the shade warm sand and this is the shade 300 so now which one do i use let me just go with the Fenty one. I, I'll update you guys about the Milani one later. I am super excited to try this foundation. I got the shade 300. But uh, last time I had the sh shade like 310. Sorry. But they were out of the stock. So I was like you know just get 300. Because I really really want to try um, the foundation. The thing is the pro matte one. Like the original one is really nice. But when I have active acne or anything like that. It kind of clings onto it. Onto like clings onto the dry patches. So probably this will be really really nice. So since this is a, like a hydrating or like you know illuminating foundation. Which whenever it's in that category. What I like to always do is. It might come as a surprise. But I like to you know. Uh, powder the oil parts of my face like oily parts of my face it is not it doesn't make your you know makeup cakey at all there's a way to do it so i'm just gonna uh, take my laura mercier powder this is a translucent powder so you know it does it won't change any color as well so i'm just going to apply in this this and this region this is the area where i get very oily so i do this for the la girl as well you know if i'm using that and i wanted to not get oily during the day because i have really oily skin so i'm just taking that powder on the sponge very lightly i'll just apply it and mattify this whole area this will just make sure that my skin doesn't get oily now let's get into the foundation let's read about the foundation a little bit uh, since I got this from the UK, it is a little more expensive than uh, the US. So I got this, I guess, for £34 or something. So yeah, let's uh, read the description of the foundation. So uh, they say texture is easily worked to obtain a coverage of medium to total while uh, unifying the complexion instantly. As a bonus, this long-lasting L texture is visible on the skin. So you can uh, is a foundation available in 50 shades, which is amazing. We already know it's a hydrating foundation. So let's just get into it. So I'm just gonna pump out. Come out. I hope this is not too light. The 310 matches me exactly. But uh, let's see. And anyways, the Fendi foundations oxidize like crazy. I'll show you the oxidization level of the foundation as well. Like the previous one used to oxidize like crazy. It does have fragrance though. That's some good coverage. I actually love the finish. 
of the foundation to all the people who click this video thinking it is dollars i am so sorry i am not that rich yet maybe maybe one day we never know i did apply a lot on my forehead which i usually don't do so i hope it doesn't make me very oily so yeah that is actually a pretty good coverage right so next let's move on to the concealer i actually don't have a new product for the con no 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 wait actually wait 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 i know these are available in india but i did order these from outside because in like you know they're just half the price in outside india so when i order like you know i order all these from beauty bay like i ordered it to my friend's house so these are literally 300 on the beauty bay website and in india there's like 650 i guess 650 or 700 i'm not sure so i ordered three shades i ordered number 10.2 11.2 and 13.5 i absolutely love this concealer so i know they're going to work so let's just apply them <laughs> I used to have C10 before but I ordered C10.2 because I thought C10 is a little pinky. The foundation is a little hydrating like you can see my skin is you know shiny and yeah. So let's see how it is after setting because obviously I didn't apply powder yet and maybe the powder will just lock everything in place. So for contouring I finally 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 got my hands on the anastasia contour kit this is the medium one i am so happy i i guess this is my first product from anastasia uh, yes yes this is my first product from anastasia so let's just contour using this uh, i guess i'll go in with this and this and just mix these two a little bit i didn't try the concealer because i have something else right now or maybe in the future i will so i am just going to take these two shades and go and apply it wherever i usually apply my contour oh, that's a i have high hopes for this because i heard a lot about it so let's see how it works oh it's kind of blending very well you can see like you, you can see i don't have much to tell So yeah, that's the contour blended. I loved everything till now. And let me just show you how much the foundation oxidizes, guys. So can you see? This is what I applied right now, and this is a swatch what I did like five minutes ago. So it does oxidize a lot, and like you know, now you can see that this is a perfect match to my skin. Match me very, very well. Yeah. So I just wanted to tell you guys that Fenty uh, foundation does oxidize a lot. just be mindful in case you want to buy that so let's move on to the powder i did buy the fenty beauty uh instant retouch setting powder i have no idea how this will be the thing is i i bought the shade cashew because i thought it will be like you know the right shade for me but let's see how it goes i'm not sure i feel it will be like a little dark for my under eyes but it will be fine to set my face with so i'm going to do my old trick of uh, mixing my translucent powder with a colored powder so i'm just going to take it on the i don't know i'm not sure guys i guess this will be a little too dark for my under eyes let's just mix my uh, laura mercier translucent powder a little bit just for my under eyes and then i'll use a same powder to rest the rest of, to set the rest of my face so make sure there are no creases before setting your concealer I'm just gonna just like yeah surely that was a little too dark for my under eyes maybe i should have mixed a little more of the translucent powder but i'm not mad it is giving a really good finish it is not patchy it's not clinging on to anything i love that it is not giving me a gray cast obviously the color powder so it's fine now i'm just going to rest set the rest of my face with the same powder i'm going to just take a fluffy brush i guess this powder is even a little dark for my skin but i'm not mad it's fine doesn't look that bad Let me know if you guys want to, you know, see 
Oh, I am so dumb. I actually bought a new brush set. I should have used all those. I'm sorry, guys. I'll actually use it now. I am so sorry. I did get um, the BH Cosmetics Lavender Luxe brush set. Let's see how it is. I don't know. I, I either got this free or the palette free. I'm not sure. I got something for free and I was very happy. So I didn't really care what I bought. And I did, I guess I got the brush uh, set for free. So yeah, these are the brushes. Actually, let me just set the face with the fluffy brush now. I am so particular about my brushes. Like I absolutely love all the brushes I use. Like they have, they're literally nameless. But I figured out a way how to use them. So I don't know how this is going to work. Next, let's just move on to bronzing and contouring. I actually ordered a lot of things from Makeup Revolution, uh, like, you know, from the Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay website because they have it, like, for half the price. Like, when I can get it for half the price, why spend so much money in India? So, yeah. So, I got this uh, Revolution, Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. This is the powder one, not the, you know, cream version of it. So yeah, I'm just going to use uh, other shade names. I don't think so. Anyway, so I think uh, I'll go in with these two shades, this and this. And I'm just going to contour my face with it. Uh, I don't think I can work with this brush. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot. I like my, you know, contour or blush brush, like, sorry, contour or bronzer brush to be a little fluffy. And I'll, I'll like... It's just my choice. I don't like that line of contour to be seen. Oh, they are pigmented. So, you know, just go in with a light hand. Don't take as much as I did. They blended pretty well though. I am so happy. Everything I bought till now is so good. I did not waste my money. Thank you, God. So, yeah, I'm just going to finish contouring not mad just you know go in with a light hand if you want a very soft look because it is quite pigmented but yeah it blended beautifully so next i i just want to highlight my under eyes a little bit so i'm going in with the shade number sorry brush number four and i'm just going to take this shade it's just like a yellow shade to just to highlight under the eyes and i'm just going to that make any difference i don't think so maybe actually slightly a little a little tad a tad tad just a tiny bit of highlighting uh next let's go on uh, to blush yes again again i know again i have the makeup revolution uh blush reloaded blush in coral dream don't want to take the brushes from the brush kit because I don't see a fluffy brush other than the powder brush. Or maybe actually I'll just go in with this and see how this works. I just like to, you know, bring the blusher onto my nose as well just to make it look. I'm so happy. I, I made that tired of listening. My face is looking pretty good guys like you know you can see the blush is blended the contour seems very blended i do love that the foundation is not like yeah it's just been half an hour but yeah i don't mind the finish it's giving me so what i'm going to do is i'm since the powder is a little dark i don't want to bake with it i'm going in with this powder like you know that yellow shade and i'm just going to bake around my nose with it by the way, a lot of people ask me which sponge is this. This is the Weiss She brush. Uh, I guess the Instagram is Weiss underscore She. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Maybe a little under my eyes as well. I'll dust it off later just to get a little brightened effect. So yeah, that is the contour ring done. Let's move on to the lips. I really feel pale then we can move on to the eyes. So I did get uh, this lipstick from Makeup Revolution this lipstick I, there's no name of the lipstick guys so this is the lipstick looks like this this is in the shade uh rose i guess 11b it's a beautiful beautiful pink shade so i'm just gonna apply that 
उसके पहले आई जस्ट अप्लाई दिस लिप लाइनर दिस द लैकमी एब्सोल्यूट फॉर एवर सिल्क लिप लाइनर आई डिड गेट अ लिप लाइनर फ्रॉम देम एज वेल बट इट्स इन द शेड रेड सो आई डोंट वांट टू यूज रेड राइट नाउ आई गॉट द या इट्स हियर राइट हियर आई गॉट द एलेगर लिप लाइनर इन फॉर एवर रेड दिस इज अ लिप लाइनर आई जस्ट गॉट इट फ्रॉम देयर आई नो ऑल द ऑल ऑफ दीस आर अवेलेबल ऑन इंडिया in india but they were cheaper they probably I, i all this would cost me 40000 in india i literally got it for 20000 outside india so i'm just going to line line i'm just going to add the lipstick oh that is actually a super good match it's exactly the shade of the lip liner wow So yeah, now this is done. Let's move on to the eyes. I do not have a brow product. Actually, I do, but it is for a different video, so I cannot use it in this. And uh, you will see it. And actually, there's a lot of makeup I'm not showing you guys. I'm only showing you guys a little, little, little bit of what I bought because there's a lot of con con content coming around. And yeah, I just bought a lot of makeup. I mean, it's my job, right? Like I'm constantly just reinvesting whatever I get, all the money I get into. again making videos for you guys because it's just like i'm trying testing tell you guys telling you guys if i like it or not this is basically i'm showing you most of the stuff which i got from abroad like not in india there's a lot of stuff i bought from india as well let's just go back to my basic uh, benefit uh, precisely my brow, brow pencil this is the pencil i absolutely love So yeah, my eyes are prepped. I am just going to go in with this palette. Ah, uh, this is the BH Cosmetics Summer in Saint Tropez palette. I was like, ah, uh, I, I was like when I saw this palette, I was like, just give it to me because it has so many beautiful colors. I absolutely love the palette. Like I love the colors. I don't know how it works. So let's do that. Ah. Uh, Going to take the brush number five. First, so I'm going to take this shade. This is the shade sand, and I'm just going to take this shade on a fluffy brush. It does come with a mirror, so it's easier to use. So that was a really light shade. It didn't really do much to my eyes. So next, I'm going to move on with the same brush into this shade. This is the shade Villa. It's a very you know pretty pink pastel type of color so i'm just going to add that in my crease now I'm just going to grab a little smaller brush this kind of pretty probably because i laid down the first shade it's not getting that much of a pigment it is blending well though let me just grab my normal brush which i use so yeah this is my bh cosmetics brush in number 5 so i'm going to take this and see if it does anything better so next i'm just taking this shade cabana this shade so i'm taking it in a flat brush this is the bh cosmetics brush number 9 i'm just taking a flat brush because i want to pack the color i want the pigment to be a little strong so i'm just going to add it is it the brush's fault or is it the color's fault let me just grab my normal flat brush which i use which doesn't have any name which i bought from sheen yeah this is doing i guess this is a definitely buildable type of shades they are blending very well but you need to pack a lot of it on the crease for it to appear they are not patchy they are beautiful shades and i like my previous brush better they are not so pigmented like i expected them to be this is the first palette of bh cosmetics that i have used they do have a little bit of fallout just be mindful of that actually the fallout was because of the brush i used the brush i normally use is not giving me any fallout so next i'm just going to take a more pointy brush this is the brush number 10 i'm just going to take that and blend it out 
yes definitely the brushes are giving me more fallout than the normal brushes i use i don't know that's weird I can say these are the first time I bought a lock, like you know, a branded brush set. Because usually I, I till now I just have those two BH Cosmetics brushes which I showed till now, like a branded, like you know, a brand brush and a couple of real techniques. Other than that, all my eye nose contouring, all the brushes are from Sheen or Amazon. I mean, it's always good to have better brushes, but I feel my already existing brushes perform better than these. Just saying, I don't know. Let's continue and see. I'm not going to give my final verdict yet. So next, I'm just going into the shade Nightlife. And I'm taking the brush number 8. This is the brush number 8. You can see how it looks. This is the brush number 8. Kind of a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend the first color I laid down with this color. Oh, I hate the fact that it went till here. That's the reason I don't use any random brushes. Let me just go in with my Real Techniques brush. This is a brush which comes in a set. This is an eyeshadow brush, base, eye, base shadow brush. So I'm just going to take the first color I took, I mean the, uh, the shade Villa, and I'm just going to blend everything out together. The purple is not even seen guys, like what the hell. I know purples are difficult to make but let me just add that a little bit. Next I'm just gonna take the same Villa and Cabana under my lower lash line. Not really a fan of the brushes. Anyways, let's. I'll just finish the other eye off camera and I'll be back. Yeah, I did the other eye off camera. I look like a pink. Uh, like a joker with two pink eyes anyway i'm just gonna add a little of uh, the yellow of the shade intoxicating on the inner corner hopefully that will make the look look a little better and i'm just gonna add it the eyeshadow palette is very powdery be mindful of that like you know there'll be a lot of fallout so yeah now let's uh, add a little eyeliner i don't have a new eyeliner so i'm just going to go in with the makeup revolution flick eyeliner <laughs> so for highlighter i'm going to take this shade like just mix these two So yeah, that is the finished look. Let's quickly run down all the products and I'll tell you what I liked, what I didn't like. The Fendi foundation, absolutely love the finish it's giving, but I don't know how long will it wear. If it is going to wear for a very long time, then I'll actually update you guys on my IG if it is going to wear for a very long time. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram. It's, it's Akanksha Kumarelli. You can go follow me there. So uh, I love the finish it gave. It is, it's been an hour, well, even one and a half hour that it's on my skin. So it didn't really make my skin very oily which is good so i guess this will kind of make it like you know stay for four five hours without getting oily i do have oily skin so that's normal then after that the concealers i absolutely love i've i've like you know wore these concealers a multiple times i i love them i don't really have much to say about them uh next the anastasia contour kit blended very beautifully you can see how soft my contour is looks very beautiful i love the shades it's, it's like a universal thing i got it because I, I i do makeup for clients and you know i needed one kit which i can use on everybody next for the powder powder is really nice but the shade is not my shade so i probably mix a translucent powder which which i al always do it's not a you know big thing love the finish it is not making my concealer crease it's a good thing because i know how the concealer acts so i know that this powder is making it stay well i'm going so fast i don't know for what reason so yeah after the powder then what did we use then we used the revolution uh contour ultra contour quit ow 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 what is wrong with me so next uh, the ultra contour kit palette i absolutely love the powders i thought the highlighters might be a little chunky but you can see they are giving me a very nice finish the thing is it you know the two highlighters one is really light and one is like the golden so you can probably mix the two and get a very nice highlight shade like i did or else the white one is just too white love the con like love the powders love the highlighter 
the brush set i'm not really a big fan of the brush set maybe i'll use the powder brush or some brush maybe in case i don't have any brushes for, for spare like i didn't clean my brushes or something maybe i'll use one of or two of them but other than that i don't think they're so great but yeah not bad i i love the individual brushes which i bought from bh cosmetics so i probably will just use them and uh, we have the bh cosmetics saint summer saint tropis palette uh, i don't know i've used uh, like four shades one two three four five shades not bad blended well but i don't know it just kind of wears off you can see the yellow pigment is not even there anymore and uh, the purple was not really being seen properly so i don't really know a uh, mixed feelings about this palette May the colors are very beautiful maybe if you're someone who would like to build 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 and build yes but the purple is still not so evident for me and i look like a pink clown with two pink eyes uh then uh, the lipstick super comfortable actually is looking pretty good yeah i guess that's it you guys see like my skin looks pretty good i love the finish nothing is very chunky nothing is very patchy it looks very nice everything blended well the eyeshadow too but not so great in my opinion if you like the video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time i post and it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel so yeah that's it for today and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video like i already told i have a lot of stuff i bought a lot of stuff there's a lot of content coming so make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye